In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a triangle read concept over the middle of the field to be able to take advantage of any kind of double Mabel uh, defenses, really any any defense, man zone, just a really effective concept. Now, you can do this out of any formation. I'm going to show you how to do it today out of tight slots, halfback week. We actually literally can use any play in this formation. I'm in the Bengals playbook. If you want to get my entire uh, tight slots, halfback week offensive ebook, it's going to be in the Patreon later today. So make sure that you're a Patreon member. The link is in the description. That's how you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now we're going to audible into tight slots from bunch because that is the best way to run this formation. Now the triangle read concept is basically a quasi a little bit of a variation of Maddenization, if you will, of stick. Um, the stick concept is essentially this. I'll show you real quick. So what stick basically is, is a streak, a hitch, a flat, and then the backside typically is going to have some kind of backside slant. Um, you know, maybe slant flat or something like this. So this is basically, you know, kind of what we're going to get at here. We're going to show you how to run this um, more of a what I call a Maddenized version, which just means it's better for playing Madden. So um, this is, it, it, like I said, it can be literally anything. So um, you can call it out of anything too. We're going to call it out of the play flood in tight slots halfback week, primarily for this table route to the running back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the left receiver, we're going to put him on a curl, we're going to take the slot receiver, we're going to put him on a post, a slot apprentice post. If you don't have slot apprentice, put him on a smart routed dig, okay? Um, but slot apprentice post, hopefully. And then what I really like to do here is take the tight end, put him on an out route, and take the right side receiver and put him on a streak. So you see, this is basically um, kind of a quasi-triangle read. What you're going to see here is this out route is going to give you pretty good separation against man-to-man -man coverage, just like that. Um, another route that is really good against man coverage is, of course, the slot apprentice post. So uh, what you're going to notice here, and like I said, you can do this out of anything. So like if you wanted to do it out of four verticals, you could do something like this as well. Okay. Um, but what you're going to see is the slot apprentice uh, post is going to cut just like that and be able to beat man coverage over the middle of the field. Now, one of the most underrated routes, in my opinion, against man coverage this year is actually the... Uh, curl route in the middle of the field. And I'll show you what this looks like as well. So when you run this play, again, we're going to do it out of flood. This curl route, especially if you have short in or short out elite on him, he'll light up. But basically what you'll notice here is if you just low ball or um, free form and pass lead it down, if they have KOs, of course I say that throw pick, uh, tip pick, but if they have KOs, it's not as good of a read. But if they don't have KOs, you can easily throw that. You saw him posting them up basically for position. Now, what this play concept really does a great job of, in my opinion, is it really attacks blitz, any kind of blitz meta. So uh, I'm going to show you the double loop uh, out of 3-3. Three, three. And basically, literally any kind of blitz meta in the game, it's going to do well. It's going to do well against man and zone blitzes. Uh, so what you'll see here is this, if you take a look at the coverage, um, you'll see that the safety is, is basically guarding the running back, right? So you have that quick read to the right side against man coverage. We can just pop that out there quick, beat the man coverage real simple, okay? Um, fairly straightforward against, against any kind of man blitz. If they zone blitz you, um, if you do get zone pressure, typically what that's going to mean is it's going to mean something like this. So I'll hard flat this guy. So you see here, this is kind of zone pressure. And basically the user is going to be in a position where he's going to have to make a decision. Am I going to go guard the curl? You could also put Michael Thomas on a hitch. I actually like the hitch as well. Am I going to go guard the curl or am I going to go guard the post route basically? So what you'll see here is that hitch is going to be wide open quick right out of the gate. So super simple concept. Now, um, where this play also does a really good job of is any kind of match or any kind of zone coverage. So any kind of zone coverage at all, this is a really, really good play. Um, like I said, you could do it out of anything and you can kind of freestyle a little bit. It could be a hitch flat. It could be a, a flat and seam wheel. It could be a flat and streak. There's a lot of variation to this play. Um, but what makes this play, I think, so effective is the fact that it can really attack any zone coverage whatsoever. What you'll see against zone coverage here is the middle of the field is just going to space super, super well. And as you can see, that post is going to just kind of get in the soft spot of a lot of zone defenses. Now, another thing that this is really good for is it's really good for any kind of double flatting. So double any kind of double Mabel at all. This is one of my favorite plays to call. So what you're going to notice against any kind of double Mabel is again, the user is going to have to choose who they're going to guard. Now, another slight variation of this play is to take 
uh, CeeDee Lamb put him on a hitch and streak George Kittle, which you can do that as well. Uh, but what you'll notice here is these hitches are just going to be wide open. The hitch is curl. Any of that stuff's going to be wide open against any kind of double flatting concept. So this is one of my favorite plays. You can create this out of a lot. Um, I'm running the flood play here. You can actually create it. It's actually really good out of this play. So you can run flood, and you see here we can use that tight end flat that we know is really good. We have this left side uh, streak. And then the other thing that we can do with our running back is we can either leave him on this block and release hitch, or we could put him on an out route and just open up space in the middle of the field. So as you can see here, same basic principle. Um, and you see the curl able that time to get open and make play. So super effective little concept. There's a lot of variations to it. Like I'll give you one example that I actually think is super underrated. Here's one for you. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to post this slot. We're going to motion them across. We have this really nice tight end flat route. We have the running back um, as well. So what I like to do is we're going to out route and seam wheel the running back. So you see now we're going to just space out the game even more. And again, you see just kind of the, the simple concepts that this can create for your offense. So I think the triangle read is a must-have in any con any offense that you run. So I wanted to break down kind of the universal concept. You can do it out of any formation. If you guys wanted to take your matting game to the next level, make sure that you get in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything over there, all of our eBooks, all of our updates. And we're dropping a brand new eBook in there today. So make sure you're in the Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description. I want to see you in there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you over at the Patreon page.